So guys, just want to do this quick video going over what I think 343 should not monetize in the next Halo game and what they should monetize in the next Halo game. I say next Halo game because I doubt any of this would ever change for Infinite. But with the new management and everything, maybe this be the perfect time now to show them what we would prefer not to be monetized and what we would prefer to see monetized. Perfect world, nothing would be monetized, but let's face it, microtransactions are here to say no matter what. So we're going to have to make peace with them in some way. And here's how I think they should go about it. So I got a small list here, nothing major, but basically here's what they shouldn't monetize colors so like secondary and primary and all that you know basic colors that we've had since halo one don't monetize that please armor sets and armor pieces definitely not i mean that would make a lot of money because halo armors are like what people usually want in multiplayer however it's just make it where we can earn this stuff for gameplay by doing challenges achievements by playing the campaign you know just stuff like that doing something cool for the community like getting a map and forge getting some sick kill like in like how someone got recon back in the day by getting a traffic cone kill in halo 3 you know uh basic emblems do not monetize those okay so in halo 5 they started it where Emblems were part of the rec system and you couldn't even mix and match them anymore. They were preset and The same thing is kind of happening with Halo Infinite. We don't want that We want like how reach and Halo 4 and how Halo 3 and 2, you know, let us Do it where we can mix and match the emblems and stuff and make our own unique looking emblem Because you know, I used to use this um wolf looking emblem and now i'm using a spartan with a shield and mcc and alpha it's just i can't remake that in halo infinite and it sucks now that's just my small list of the things they shouldn't monetize there's probably other stuff that i forgot to mention but if i forgot anything else just let me know below now here's the stuff they could monetize instead now they already monetize codings in halo infinite which is our primary and secondary color i guess like the ones they made for us already but what they could do and hen xperia brought this up in his latest video go the route that doom 2016 did where you can have your primary secondary you can all have that and mix and match that but you can also have these like detail things you could put on your armor like scuff, a shyness, you know, battle damage, that type of stuff. Make turn coatings into something like that where it's it adds detail on to your colors that you have already. Don't just do it like it is an infinite now, but just make it where you can add on to that and make your armor look even more badass and stuff like that. Now, going to the emblems, they could, okay, if they do what I said above and don't, like, monetize basic emblems and pieces and that, they could, down the line, sell us new, okay, new pieces of, like, emblem stuff we can buy to add on to our collection of all the emblem pieces that we got in the launch game. And that would be a great way. I would probably make some money. I mean, if people like the emblem system in the next Halo game where, you know, you don't have to, Like, we have a bunch of already pre-set uh, pieces we can get to mix and match and make our own emblem. Down the line, just sell us more of that. Instead of selling whole emblems that we can't, like, take apart and, like, mix and match, just sell us pieces. That would be better. Pfizer's obviously no one's really complaining about having to pay for Pfizer's so like that's fine weapon and vehicle skins that's fine do the same thing though like what I suggested with the um coatings is um for vehicles and weapons 
add a secondary like option to like make those look a lot more like just damaged or newer and stuff like that. Now this one people might take the wrong way so I'm going to try to explain the best I can. And that is unique HUD layouts. Now I'm not talking about taking away the setting to uh, change your HUD layout and that but like you know how in Halo 5's co-op mode where if you were Buck or uh, I mean, uh, Tanaka or Thale or Locke you had different HUDs and that. Do something like that before the next Halo game where we can pay to get that type of stuff. I think a lot of people would be down to pay for that type of stuff. Obviously have some in the base game. Like with everything here that I said they should monetize, have some of that in the base game as like just stuff that we can get for free but then make that the main thing you monetize down the line. But yeah, unique HUD layouts would be pretty dope. Obviously, you could, like, in settings, change, like, where your health bar, or, or mainly your ammo counter and health bar is and that. And leave the crazy shit for the monetization. I hope that made sense. But yeah, that's about what I can think of when it comes to that. There's probably more that they could monetize that wouldn't be as egregious to the Halo community. I mean, again, like I said before, in a perfect world, None of this stuff would even be monetized at all. But unfortunately, we don't live in that perfect world. So we gotta make do with what we got. And this is my idea. No one's probably gonna, you know, care. 343 aren't gonna watch this video. But, you know, it's just an idea I was thinking about. Yeah. Uh, if you agree with anything I said, please let me know below, and if you have any ideas, please let me know below as well, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye!